Meghan Markle will today put a horrendous week of family drama behind her as she takes her mother to meet the Queen. After a series of setbacks which have seen her father pull out of the ceremony and her half-brother call the wedding a mistake, Meghan will make final preparations today ahead of the ceremony at Windsor on Saturday. Her half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr. was pictured outside Windsor Castle this week after flying to the UK ahead of the service. US police have also been baffled by explosive claims that Meghan Markle's half-sister was run off the road and hospitalized by a paparazzo, as law enforcement cannot, can't find any evidence the crash happened. The royal bride will hope there are no further surprises from her family to disrupt the build-up to the wedding. Today Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, who has been staying at Kensington Palace, will meet the Queen to complete a whirlwind introduction to the royal family after flying in from Los Angeles on Wednesday. She has already enjoyed a jolly meeting with Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall just hours after landing and yesterday met the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children. Last night royal fans were seen camping out outside the castle to ensure a good view of the planned procession, using sleeping bags and even folding chairs after local police banned tents. Yesterday they witnessed a full rehearsal in which a carriage and members of the armed forces paraded through the streets of Windsor. Meghan has pleaded for her 73-year-old father, who is recovering from heart surgery in Mexico after revelations about his alleged collusion with a paparazzi photographer, to be given space. In the statement, which she is said to have written herself, Miss Markle, 36, said, Sadly, my father will not be attending our wedding. I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. I would like to thank everyone who has offered generous messages of support. Please know how much Harry and I look forward to sharing our special day with you on Saturday. The actress also appeared to reject criticism by her siblings that she had failed to do enough to support the reclusive Thomas Markle, saying she had always cared for him. There was no confirmation from Kensington Palace about who will walk Miss Markle down the aisle tomorrow. That is expected later today. However, her mother, Doria Ragland, who will accompany her to the chapel and who is due to meet the Queen today, is tipped for the role. Miss Markle's future father-in-law, Prince Charles, and her closest male friend, Soho House director Marcus Anderson, have also been mooted. Amid criticism from some in the extended Markle family, sources close to Miss Markle yesterday insisted that she and Harry, 33, had offered both her parents substantial support and advice as to how to handle the global interest since they started dating in 2016. And friends told the Mail that contrary to claims by her half-siblings, Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle JNR, that she had left their intensely private father to deal with the paparazzi on his own, she had been in frequent touch with him by phone and text, including in recent days. It is understood Mr. Markle told his daughter personally that he would not be medically fit enough to fly to the UK. Officers from the Florida Highway Patrol also spent three hours trawling their database for details after TMZ reported that the car Samantha, 53, was traveling and struck a concrete barrier on Wednesday afternoon. And after their search turned up empty they even warned the driver, her 60-year-old boyfriend Mark Phillips, could be guilty of a hit and run misdemeanor punishable by two months in jail for failing to report an accident. It was claimed yesterday that he was recovering after having three stents implanted in arteries following a heart attack at home in Mexico eight days ago and that he had said it would take a long time to heal. In return, Miss Markle was said to have told him that she loved him and supported him, regardless of the paparazzi photograph debacle. Kensington Palace declined, however, to confirm when Miss Markle had last seen her father or when she planned to see him next. They were also unable to say when Prince Harry would meet his new father-in-law. Although the couple have been dating for two years, the prince has only ever spoken to him by phone. Yesterday's announcement came at the end of a truly remarkable few days, in which Kensington Palace was accused of failing to get a grip of the situation, leaving Thomas Markle to brief the US gossip website TMZ about his plans. 
even Buckingham Palace courtiers have started looking at the website for the latest updates. But as the final regular preparations were put into place yesterday afternoon, Miss Markle and Harry appeared to be all smiles. The couple attended their last wedding rehearsal at St. George's Chapel in Windsor with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, who are page boy and bridesmaid. Miss Markle looked radiant despite the strain of the past week, wearing a white 285-pound boss bodysuit and 7,000-pound Burke's diamond earrings. Although the Queen arrived at Windsor Castle for the weekend, while the wedding party was there, she is understood not to have taken part. Friends said last night that despite the drama of the past few days, Miss Markle was excited about the wedding and looking forward to exchanging vows with her prince. One admitted that families could sometimes be messy, but that she and Harry knew they had done everything possible to support her parents. They are just looking forward to the next few days and happy and excited about becoming man and wife, the source said. TMZ yesterday said it had again been in touch with Mr. Markle. Journalist Sean Mandel said Miss Markle's father had told him it will take a long time to heal. I'm OK. Staying in the hospital a few more days. Not allowed to get excited. As for his daughter, Mr. Mandel said it was clear she had been very upset by events. Megan was embarrassed and tearful in private, he said. She is holding up, from what I've been told. It has been a tearful and a trying time for her. When asked if her relationship with her father could recover from this week's day buckle, he said, I do get the sense he does want to be reunited with Megan. She's no stranger to having to deal with hard moments in her life. He told Good Morning Britain, she Megan called him Monday when the story first broke. But he did not have his phone on him, and then she texted him, saying she loved him that she was concerned over his health and bore him no ill will over the controversy of the fake photos. He told us we wanted to be there and had a change of heart on Tuesday after speaking with Meghan over text and he felt he had pulled out prematurely. He had originally felt it would be better for him not to be at the wedding because it would cause further embarrassment, he thought, for the royal family and for Meghan, which is the last thing he wanted. He realized I'm a father, and I want to be there for my daughter, and I want to be part of history. Ultimately his health prevented him from being able to do the dot. Megan is by all accounts a very strong woman. From what Thomas has told me there's just love being conveyed there, and a gentle approach between them when they speak. Royal superfans were camping out again in Windsor last night to bag the best spots for the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on Saturday. The royal wedding enthusiasts, who watched hundreds of members of the armed forces march through Windsor in a dress rehearsal yesterday, were seen snuggling up in sleeping bags on the pavement two nights before the service at St. George's Chapel. Thames Valley Police are enforcing a no-tent rule in the run-up to the big day for security reasons, forcing some people to sleep in the open air or on fold-up chairs. One keen driver was seen at the wheel of a Union Jack-decorated car while others carried flags with Harry and Meghan's faces on them. Some of the royal fans had already taken up camp at Windsor the night before. The visitors, determined to get the best view of the royal couple, have set up camp behind the barriers on the route that the royal procession will take through the Berkshire town. Beating drums of a military brass band heralded the arrival of the wedding cortege at Windsor Castle during the rehearsal followed by different regiments of the Army and Royal Navy, including a platoon of Gurkhas. Police shut roads as the military and other emergency services geared up for the big day, while the horse-drawn royal carriage left Windsor Castle surrounded by a mounted platoon of the household cavalry. The procession was followed by a team from the Diplomatic Protection Group in a black Range Rover and by a green Land Rover. The Ascot Landau carriage also took part in the procession, which has been chosen by the newlyweds for their open top tour of the town when they are husband and wife. It is used in official and ceremonial state events and will pulled by Windsor Grey horses. The horses seen during today's parade will be the same ones used on Saturday. There are five carriages like the one seen today, which are kept in the Royal Mews. They take their name because they are used during the Queen's procession at Royal Ascot every year. 
Kensington Palace confirmed that the armed forces taking part included the Irish Guards, the British Army, including members of the Gurkha Regiment, the Army Air Corps, the Royal Navy and the Household Cavalry. Why can't she just say she loves him? Social media users expressed disbelief at Meghan's weird statement about her father which goes no further than saying she's always cared for him Online critics have questioned the wording of Meghan Markle's statement concerning her father's absence at the royal wedding. The bride-to-be, 36, broke her silence as her father's continued medical treatment means he won't be able to walk her down the aisle at Windsor Castle. In a statement released by Kensington Palace this morning, the TV star said, Sadly, my father will not be attending our wedding. I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. I would like to thank everyone who has offered generous messages of support. Please know how much Harry and I look forward to sharing our special day with you on Saturday. But no sooner had Kensington Palace released the statement than some had started to question its wording. Twitter users questioned whether Meghan Markle's statement could have been better worded. Kensington Palace released the statement today in response to concerns over Meghan's father. One Twitter user said the statement suggested Meghan was already suppressing emotions like a proper British royal. Emma Grit added, I have always cared for my father. What is she? A droid. She can't even say she loves her own dad. She said that, if the statement was written by an aide in Kensington Palace, then Meghan should be writing in her own words. Another Twitter user responded, I always cared for my father, come on Meghan where's the word love? Celebrity blogger Paris Hilton tweeted, interesting wording. She says I have always cared for my father, not loved. Others were supportive of Meghan, insisting she is in a difficult position. Critics have suggested Meghan Markle could have used warmer wording in her statement Doria's royal whirlwind, Meghan's mother is whisked straight from the airport to a jolly tea with Charles and Camilla then spends the night at Kensington Palace Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, has had the royal red carpet rolled out for her ahead of the royal wedding on Saturday. Hours after arriving in the UK yesterday, the bride's mother was treated to tea at Clarence House with Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, it can be revealed. Prince Harry and Meghan were there for the gathering, which took place in the late afternoon. Malin Lind understands the tea party was very jolly, and Charles and Camilla got on extremely well with Doria. She then spent the night at Kensington Palace before meeting the Duke of Duchess of Cambridge and their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, at Windsor this afternoon. Doria, 62, is expected to meet the Queen on Friday during a whirlwind introduction to the royal family after arriving from Los Angeles. Charles and Camilla were pictured today on their way to the National Arboretum in Staffordshire, as it emerged they had a jolly meeting with Meghan Markle's mother Doria. After she landed in the UK yesterday Miss Ragland is set to meet the Queen, pictured yesterday. For tea on Friday with Harry and Meghan expected to attend it was unclear whether she joined Meghan and Harry as the couple took part in wedding rehearsals in Windsor today. She is widely tipped to walk her daughter down the aisle on Saturday after Meghan confirmed her father Thomas will not attend the royal wedding after days of chaos caused by his health and a paparazzi scandal. Prince Charles and Prince William are also among the favorites to give her away if she doesn't step in.